This DIY I'm about to show you is probably one of the quickest ones that you can do to add into your skincare routine. We're going to be making really easy makeup and face cleansing wipes. So this recipe gives you an option for using cotton pads that are disposable or you can use reusable cotton pads. Another really key thing to note before we begin is you need to make sure you have a nice wide mouth jar. So here's mine here and my already prepared stuff. So this is a really nice wide one. You want it easy to fit your cotton pads in and very easy to get your hand in there to pull them out, especially when you're getting down to the last few. Also, if you are using disposable cotton pads that you can just purchase from your supermarket, I recommend getting these ones. My packet's already used and empty now but they're the Swiss Biss brand and they're extra large and strong thick ones. You wanna make sure you do get the extra strong thick ones, otherwise they'll just fall to bits. All right, we're gonna start off with a big glass pouring jug. It just makes it a little bit easy at the end to then pour the solution into your final jar. So into my bowl, I'm going to start by adding half a teaspoon of glycerin. Glycerin has really amazing moisturizing properties, so it's not going to strip everything off your skin and it's not going to make it dry. Next, I'm going to add half a teaspoon of natural vitamin E oil. Once again, really moisturizing and really nourishing for the skin. Next, we're going to add our cleansing agent here. We're going to add one tablespoon of Castile liquid soap. Next, we're going to add three tablespoons of fractionated coconut oil. Now, coconut oil actually has really amazing cleansing properties on its own bat and extra moisturizing. Next, we're going to add in two cups of distilled water. You want to use distilled water because it's just going to extend the shelf life of this product. Lastly, is where you customize it with essential oils. So I'm using geranium. It's a really great balancing oil for the skin and it is great for every single skin type. If you have problematic skin, such as acne, blemishes, I'd recommend using tea tree oil or lavender oil. If you've got dry skin, I'd recommend lavender as well. But for a whole bunch of more options for your skin type, check the description box below. All right, all our bits and pieces are in there, so we're going to give it a good mix up. My vitamin E oil I bought is a really like thick, concentrated one, so I had to pull out my whisk to actually try and get it to blend in a little bit better. Now we're just going to simply pour that into our jar with our cotton pads. So you can start by stuffing about half of your jar full of cotton pads, pour in a bit of mixture, shove it down, put some more cotton pads on, pour mixture over and so on until your jar is full. I didn't quite have enough cotton pads left over to actually fill my jar to use up all of my mixture though. So I had some extra mixture left over, which is never a bad thing. So if you find yourself with a bit of extra mixture left over as well, if you've got a spare pump bottle or foaming dispenser bottle, chuck it in there and then you've got just some really quick and easy foaming cleanser to use as well. And when you run out of your cotton pads, you can finish up with this stuff. Just use them like any other makeup remover pad to get rid of the day's makeup before you then cleanse your face and finish off with the rest of your skincare routine. I hope you enjoyed this really simple DIY recipe. Let me know in the comments below if you try this and what you think about it, or if you have any other really awesome, easy skincare DIYs that you'd like to share with us, I would love to hear from you. Also, you can check out my website, mandymakes.com.au, where I have a blog post sharing lots more information about why all of these products are good for you. Check it out and I'll see you next time.